Hey everyone, it's Haley, and today I'm going to be doing a book haul. So it's a new year, time to haul some new books. I hope that you don't mind that the lighting might be a little bit less good than it usually is because I started filming this video so much later than I meant to, so it's already dark out and I'm just relying on the studio lights to work their magic a little bit. Also, I'm wearing a hoodie because quite honestly, I was super comfortable and I went in my closet and I was like, no, I just wanna wear this. Like, I'm wearing a whole sweatsuit right now. It's a vibe. I'm really comfy so we're just gonna we're gonna roll with it this is a casual on the floor book haul because it took me so long to get myself together before we get into the video I did want to take a second to thank the sponsor for today's video karma I'm so excited to be working with karma again I'm so excited to be working with karma once again because they pretty much saved my Christmas but also they make shopping so easy if you guys are unfamiliar with it it is a Google Chrome extension and an app that that will help you save money. So the way that it works is you can download the Chrome extension and from there you can be shopping on your favorite website and you can save whatever item you want. So you can save it and then you can get a notification when there's a price drop, it goes on sale, or there's a relevant coupon code. This has helped me so many times, especially during Christmas when shopping for people and with all of the like overwhelming Black Friday deals, it was so easy to just save everything and then I would be notified when things would go on sale, so I was able to get everyone everything that they wanted. And also then some, honestly, including myself. <laughs> Within Karma, you can also organize your items into lists. So for someone like me who has a lot of different interests, this is really helpful because I can have a books list, I can have a clothes list, a home goods list, something for everything, like makeup. There's literally, it just makes it so much easier to compartmentalize and not get overwhelmed. During Christmas, and actually throughout the year, I plan on now, I'm going to have a list for each person in my life so then when I like see something that I think someone would love I can save it to my list and then I can like refer back to that when I need to get someone a gift. Karma also has a super fun feature where it will scan the web for relevant coupon codes for you so it takes all the work out of it and it almost always finds something. Like more times than not it has found a code for me and I have been able to save even more money which is just like my favorite thing when shopping. They also have a cashback feature where you can earn cashback for shopping at select stores. One of the cool things is that when you save something to your list, you can also get a notification when it's back in stock. So that is how I was able to get these two books right here. So Chris Rydell did illustrated editions of Alice in Wonderland and Through the Looking Glass and they were like out of stock everywhere because the supply chain issues, I couldn't find it. So then I saved it and then I got a notification that they came back in stock and I purchased them immediately and I'm so happy happy to have them back in my hands. Like in that way, it's really nice because I can get something that I truly want, but it also kind of helps to keep me from making impulse purchases because I'll save it to my list and then when I get the notification, I can think about if I forgot about it or if I actually do want it. So if you guys were interested in checking out Karma, I definitely recommend it. It is perfect to save you some extra money. I will have a link down below for you to download the app and the Google Chrome extension so you can check it out. And thank Thank you once again to them very much for sponsoring today's video. So this is actually a pretty baby book haul compared to what I usually do, especially compared to my last Christmas book haul. But I'm seriously so excited to have these books in my hands. I was just so pumped when I saw that Chris Rydell was doing an illustrated edition of Alice because I have, he did, oh, what's it called? The Hunting of the Snark. I have his illustrated edition of that, but this is his Alice one. And also the Cheshire Cat is orange, which just makes me think of Jackson and it brings me like an abundance of joy. I know a lot of you guys would like to have an updated Alice collection. I don't know what number in my collection these are. They might be, I don't know if I'm over 100 yet or if these are like, the 99 and 100. I'm not sure, I'll have to count, but I will also do an Alice collection updated for you guys very soon. But just like, look at this. This is stunning and it just makes me want to reread it. I think I'm gonna have to reread this. Oh, that just seems like the most like relaxing and beautiful experience. Oh my God, I love it so much and like, it's just so beautiful. I feel like Chris Rydell has a really quirky illustration style and this fits it pretty much perfectly. Like I'm just obsessed. So I think I'm definitely going to like sit down with the audiobook one day and just flip through. So here's through the looking glass and what Alice found there. And it just, once again, 
gorgeous. Like, I am just obsessed with these illustrations. Humpty Dumpty there. Oh, I could flip through this all day. I actually still need to like sit down and actually flip through page by page because I just got so excited and overwhelmed when I got it that I put it on my shelf. But I am really, really happy to have these. I think these are beautiful additions to add to anyone's collection. And surely I'm very excited to have them on mine. Is there anything on the, oh, they're even pretty under the jacket. They look like an older style book that way. I wanna see what this one has. Oh, it also has the chessboard, which is fun. And oh, I just love it. I honestly haven't gotten a new edition of Alice in a really long time. So it just brings me such joy to have new ones here. So now for the other books, we have a mix of, mostly these are actually ones that were sent to me throughout December that I didn't get the chance to talk about because I wanted my December, like Christmas, book haul to be books that I had bought for myself for my little Christmas gift. But speaking of Christmas gifts, I'll actually start off with this one. So this is actually a gift from my sister and her fiance, the one in California, because that really doesn't narrow it down since they're both engaged. But <laughs> this is an old copy of Dickens Christmas stories that they found and put in my stocking, which I think is really cool. They weren't sure exactly like what year it was from or anything, but it still is a really nice copy to have. So in here, it has obviously a Christmas Carol, of course, and then it also has the chimes, and then I think there was one other story in here, the cricket on the hearth. So I'm going to have to definitely read the two that I haven't read because I have read A Christmas Carol and I really loved it, but I'm gonna have to read the two other ones next year around Christmas. Next up, I was sent the new covers of the Ugly series by Scott Westerfeld. So the Ugly series is honestly I think the first series that I loved. I distinctly remember when I tried this series before I ever loved reading. I remember one of my friends she like talked about these and then we went to the library and I got the first one from the library and then ended up just picking up the box set for the whole series and then I picked up more books by him because I was so obsessed with the original series that I just wanted more. Like <laughs> I remember the first line of the uglies with like the cat vomit sky. I don't know why it's one of those books that really sticks out to me. So Simon & Schuster was kind enough to send along the new editions that they're doing. So they're really cool. I feel like they fit the story very well. This is kind of like, I don't want to say the original dystopia because that seems really just dramatic, but it is one of the original YA, like Western dystopias. So I would actually love to see these adapted as movies. I think they would be really cool, especially because it's a series that takes into account like appearance and society's obsession with appearance a lot. Like there's just so much about it that I absolutely love. And if you haven't read these books, I think they are definitely staples to any YA book lovers. Like if you want to read some classic YA, I think this is a great one to go to. I was also sent she Gets the Girl by Rachel Lippincott and Alison Derrick. I believe that the two of these authors are together. I think I had seen that somewhere. Yeah, okay. I think that they are because it says that they live in Pittsburgh with their dog, Hank. I love the fact that their dog is named Hank. But this is a book about these two girls who they don't really know each other. They don't really get along. And the one, she has always been able to get the girl. Like, any girl that she wants, she gets them. But then she ends up going through a breakup because she's not that good at keeping the girl. So the other girl, she has had a crush on someone for so long and the first girl, who has just been broken up with, decides to team up with her to help her with this five-step plan to get her that girl that she's been crushing on. And this will also be mutually beneficial because it's going to show her ex that she really does care about people, like that she's more sensitive than it seems and all of that stuff. But of course, along the way with this five-step plan, they start falling for each other. I think this sounds adorable. I'm really excited to read it. And I just think, oh, it's gonna be so cute. This is actually by one of the authors of Five Feet Apart, which is Rachel Lippincott. It's actually Alice and Derek's debut, but I'm super pumped for it. Next is Always Jane by Jen Bennett. I'm so excited to have a new Jen Bennett book because I started reading her stuff in 2020 and just loved it. Like she has so many really solid, great contemporary novels and Always Jane is her newest release. This isn't out yet. It's coming out March 29th, so not too much longer. And I will also check to see when she gets the girl is coming out. This one is coming out on April 5th, I believe. And Always Jane, I just want to make sure. I think I read the long, oh no, okay. I got 
confused because yeah, it's irrelevant, but they changed the covers for her books and I'm not so sure how I feel about it. Like I don't dislike it. I just don't know if I enjoy it. Like now that they definitely don't all match and I wasn't in love with her other covers either, but this one is just so different than the others, but that's like a very minor thing. This is about a chauffeur's daughter who she's grown up with, like her family has been working for the wealthy and famous LA rock producer. And she actually ends up finding herself in a love triangle with the son of her boss's wealthy next door neighbor. So I haven't read about a love triangle in a long time, but I do really enjoy Jen Bennett. So I'm definitely going to be excited to read this one. Next is Queen of the Tiles, and this is by Hannah Alcaf, and this one is coming out April 19th. So this is very interesting because it's about like the world of competitive Scrabble, which I did not know was a thing, but it's actually also kind of a murder mystery thing because her best friend, she is murdered and she is forced to investigate this when her Instagram account comes back to life with all these cryptic messages and stuff. So I'm expecting this to be actually a really intense read. But I think there's actually also going to be a mysterious element to it because the main character ends up having to investigate the mysterious death of her best friend who died a year earlier and now her Instagram account has come back with very cryptic and strange messages. So I think it's going to be a pretty intense read. Next is Ain't Burned All the Bright, which I'm not a huge fan of that title. Honestly, it's one, I can never like tell where the title is. I had to look on the spine and two, it just doesn't roll off the tongue for me. Ain't burned all bright. I don't know why, all the bright, sorry. I don't know why, but it's by Jason Reynolds who I do really love and it's illustrated by Jason Griffin. This is very interesting because it's a mashup of art and text and it's just like, 10 sentences that tell this story. But the story is, it's capturing what it's like to be black in America right now. It was written during the pandemic, I believe, and it has just a lot to do with like, okay, let's see, <laughs> I will just read this for you. So Jason Reynolds writes using three long sentences and the art is by Jason Griffin using 300 pages of a pocket size moleskin. They have mind melded this fierce, vulnerable, brilliant, terrifying, what is wrong with humans, hope filled, hopeful, tender, heartbreaking, heart-making manifesto on what it means not to be able to breathe and how the people and things at your fingertips are acts actually the oxygen you most need. I like really don't know what to expect from this one, but I'm definitely going to be reading it soon because you know, it is like a, it's a very short three sentence, but kind of the description on Goodreads at 10 sentences. So it's a short amount of sentences that make up the story and it seems really interesting and different than anything I've ever read before. So now I just have two more books that were sent to me and then the rest of them I actually bought for myself. So we have Sophie and the Bone Song by Adrienne Tooley. Adrienne Tooley actually came out with a book last year, A Sweet and Bitter Magic, that I have pre-ordered the paperback for, but this is their latest release. So this one is coming out, wow, April's gonna be a big month, April 19th as well. This is a queer standalone fantasy, which is awesome. It follows a musician who is setting out to expose her rival for using illegal magic to improve her music, but then she ends up discovering that it's actually a deception that goes like way deeper and is more intense than she ever could have imagined. I heard some really good things about this author's first book, and this seems like a definitely really interesting and unique concept, so it's one I'm looking forward to. The final book that was sent to me is So This Is Ever After by F.T. Lukens. F.T. Lukens is the author of In Deeper Water is that what it's called? I read it last year and I really liked it. This one is coming out the 29th of March. I don't remember what their first book is. It doesn't say, but this story is Carry On meets Dungeons and Dragons in this funny subversive fantasy about what happens after the chosen one wins the kingdom and has to get married to keep it and stay alive. So I don't know, like I was looking at the character names for this and they kind of, some of them look really familiar from the first book that I read by this author, so I'm not sure if the two are connected at all. I'll kind of have to look, but it does seem like 
everything I want from a fantasy and more. Okay, so the last four books are ones that I bought for myself. They're pre-orders that have been rolling in. So we have When You Get the Chance by Emma Lord. And I'm so pumped for this one because it's a Mamma Mia retelling, but it's gender bent, so that's interesting. Like, she's searching for her mother instead of searching for her father. But she has dreams of being a Broadway star, and she ends up finding her dad's live journal from like 2004, and she decides that she's gonna try and find her mother. And there are three different candidates, so Mamma Mia, obviously, but I literally love Mamma Mia so much. Like, I adore Mamma Mia, and now I wanna watch it. <laughs> I definitely want to read this book. I'm trying to lower my expectations because, I mean, it being a Mamma Mia retelling has them really high, but I hope it doesn't let me down. Next is Echoes and Empires by Morgan Rhodes. This is by the author of Falling Kingdoms and what's the other one? The other one that I read and then they didn't end up continuing with the series, A Book of Spirits and Thieves. So they started that series and then they were like, no, we're not gonna do it anymore. So I only read the first book because then they just ended up stopping. They came up with two, I think, and then they were like, nah, no, uh, which sucks. But this is a new fantasy duology by this author and it, features a main character who she get, ends up getting infected with magic, which is like illegal. And there is a criminal who ends up agreeing to help her. And in exchange, he's actually going to take the magic for himself. So it seems like a really dark and interesting setup for a fantasy world. And unlike other things that I've read. So I'm intrigued. Next is You've Reached Sam by Dustin Tao. If I want a book to break my heart, I think that this is the one that I'm going to go for because it's about a girl who she has her life all planned out and everything. After graduation, her and her boyfriend, they're gonna move away and go to college together, but then he actually ends up dying. So she is dealing with like really intense grief, obviously, and she ends up going to call his voicemail just to hear his voice for the last time, but he actually picks up. So she has this like temporary second chance at saying goodbye to him and like it's just gonna be sad. I just know it's gonna be sad, but it also could be really beautiful. And the final book that I have here is Salam With Love by Sarah Sharaf Beg. I'm really excited for this book because it is set during Ramadan and it follows a character who she is like, it's during Ramadan, there's this guy that she starts falling for, so it seems adorable. It's super short too, which I wasn't expecting, but I think it's going to be a really, really cute story that I'm excited for. Okay, so those are all the books that I wanted to talk about in today's book haul. Like I said, it's just a small one today, but but thank you guys so much for watching and thank you once again to Karma for sponsoring today's video. Don't forget to check them out in the link down below if you want to shop and save some money. It's totally worth it. But I hope you guys enjoyed and I will see you guys in the next video soon. Bye!